Well, we need planetary health given global warming and the perils that humanity faces. For far too long, overlooked the damaging effects of human progress on natural ecosystems. It's fundamental to our survival as a species. So we need to understand planetary health as an issue uh, and that takes communicating it to a wide audience. So in other words, planetary health really reminds us that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. We uh, have been the historically uh, uh, the less uh, contributing region uh, to this uh, catastrophe, though it's the region that is the most affected. From a Mexican perspective, a very substantial percentage of the scientific community is already involved in research related with pollution, environment, water, toxicology, sustainability, removal of pollutants, commuting, uh, community engagement, education and outreach. Now, many of these researchers are looking into horizontal dialogues with First Nations, Indigenous communities, and citizens in general to understand their questions. And we have ways, actually, we have ways as part of our traditions to, to interact with, uh, with our environment. We uh, respond to climate change here in Australia as one aspect of planetary health. Uh, obviously has massive implications for really the survival of, of some of the Pacific Islands. The Caribbean is very focused on um, making sure that we look at our issues, but also making sure that we are indeed a global partner. There are sustainable management of ecosystems in tourism because we have a very big uh, economy based on tourism in the whole region. We use novel educational tools to get them to understand this importance. They're learning about the tree cover and the importance of these trees historically. Um, also in terms of traditional medicine, as well as um, important contributions to our overall Biodiversity. Even the science engagement project Superheroes Against Superbugs that I'm involved in, uh, which is on antibiotic resistance, we're not looking at the issue of drug resistant infections only through the lens of biomedicine or human health, but we're keenly exploring the environmental aspects of the problem. When we talk about engagement and also the fact that planetary health is a concept, a framework of action, I think it's very important. How come people are so conscious, informed and aware of uh, an urgency that is coming, how come that it's so difficult, that, that there's this difficulty to, uh, to, to turn into action? I don't think one can really uh, work without the other. It's very health and taking science to the public um, cannot be overestimated. We need as science engagers and scientists to propose credible and viable solutions. The two need each other and uh, I think there's a massive opportunity uh, to focus on planetary health in the way uh, that we communicate science.